All right, what's up, y'all? It's Laker fan here. As y'all can see by the title of today's video, we got two elite play locks getting exposed on this 2v2 court. Now, in today's vid, too, we have two game plays against the same opponents, as you're seeing on the screen right now. And as a lot of y'all know, this is becoming like a meta lineup where, you know, you got the two-way slash play at point guard and then the playmaking glass cleaner at the big man. These play locks are just hard to deal with on this 2v2 court because they're so good at everything. They got good ball handling. They got good defense. They got good drive game with contact dunks, and they can shoot as well. Now you see our lineup, we got the two-way sharp at point guard, and then my finisher at the two. You're going to see, this is a great gameplay, a really good pick and roll breakdown finally too. I'll get to that, you know, after we get to these player intros, but you can see they got the playmaking glass cleaner at the two, and the two-way slash play at the one. So, like I said, crazy lineup, they got great defense, great versatility and mobility on on defense and then on offense you know they're just going to attack the weak link so in this case the weak link is cook obviously i'm a six i'm a six nine like true lockdown defender honestly with like great finishing and great physicals and just super tall and obviously my height pertains to my like good defense in this situation too where whereas cook is like six four obviously his interior d isn't quite as good as mine and you know the height does matter as far as uh you know playing against these playmaking lockdowns who you know are obviously going to look to drive primarily but anyway um one little breakdown that i wanted to talk to y'all about just my subs you may be wondering why you haven't seen cook and kitchen on the channel quite as much lately and you see crazy lob <laughs> that we're able to complete there but you might be wondering why you haven't been seeing cook and uh and kitchen on the channel as much lately and i've been you know playing around with like collabs lately playing with stumpy um nut all that stuff the thing is cook hasn't really been on 2k all that much lately honestly since patch but he's getting back into it now so just understand in this gameplay too he is a little bit rusty but this is still a really good pick and roll breakdown right here and but again <laughs> you have things like that where he really could have waited like just a split second longer and it would have been a good lob but he threw it a little bit early but same with uh kitchen he's really busy with track and just you know if if he is on 2k he's trying to grind his new playmaking glass cleaner build so it's kind of, you know, just a, a tough time in 2K. But with Puma, we're going to be playing a lot more late. Uh, you know, I might even hop on streams occasionally here, here and there with the Puma on. But anyway, back to the gameplay. Like I said, interior defense is going to be a big thing when playing against these guys. Luckily, we get that, you know, scary pass right there. And then he's not playing me too tight. So we get the standing lob. That is one thing I've been doing and getting better at as well myself. Now, one thing I want to talk about, too, that I need to get better with is you're going to see I, I'm really prone to these turnovers on the inbound lately. And I don't know why, but I just I just got to improve, improve at that a little bit. You see Cook with a nice cook up right there and <laughs> he gets it. He gets the pick and roll working. Like I was saying, we finally have a good, beautiful pick and roll breakdown video. Like it's been so long. And honestly, probably since patch. And it's not that pick and roll is broken. Like, I really enjoy this. But honestly, just for the perspective of, like, how hard it's been for us to get, like, a competent three people on at the same time. I'm sure a lot of y'all feel this. You know, you, you love to play 3v3, but your main three don't always be on. And you're not trying to, like, you know, just go out of your way to pick up. You know, not I'm not to say, like, a weak link. But you kind of want to play with, like, your best three when you hop on that 3v3 stuff. So... For the most part, y'all know I haven't really been on this threes like this threes court very often, uh, as far as like after the new update. But I'm really looking forward to maybe getting the whole crew back together, as far as like hopping on 2K, and we'll we'll get back to that to that 3v3 stuff and the true pick and roll videos and stuff pretty soon. But anyway, again, the whole like defensive display of this video, we we have a lot of cool breakdowns that I kind of want to teach y'all here, and it's gonna pertain to this right here. So. You see beautiful work of the pick and roll. We're going to go ahead and rewind that and explain how that works. So you're going to see he picks up. The, the big man picks up in this situation off this pick because I was able to actually get a really good screen in that situation. Now, he works it back to the middle. If I don't cut right here, this is a lost possession. But since I did cut, you're going to see it keeps this. It keeps that guard with me and Cook was able to outrun the big man. Again, if I just kind of stay toward the top, he's going to get double teamed off a pick again. You got to know when to roll as a big. Obviously, y'all know that if you watch my channel. Now, I want to break this down for you guys in this situation too. When I play defenders that have really good speed on the backside, I don't angle these rolls very well for lobs. So in this situation, you see Cook tried to throw the lob there. In that situation, again, with the two with the two lockdown defenders and how much speed they have, I was kind of more so expecting Cook to throw a regular pass. And I feel like that's, again, something that he may just be a little rusty with in this pick and roll. You need a lot of good chemistry and communication with the pick and roll stuff. But you're going to see on this take right here, we were still on the same page with this where, you know, it was just boom, hit me on like a regular pass. Because, again, I don't have the time. I don't have the, you know, like, it's not that I don't have the speed. I got 85 speed. That's really good. But the defender has really good speed, too. So that all has to be kept in mind. 
and if the defender is just as fast as me, I gotta angle those cuts like pretty pretty straightforward instead of actually angling them to the side for like a good alley-oop angle, if you guys get what I'm saying. But anyway, 21 to two in this game, we shoot nine for 10. Um, I was four for four with no rebounds, but honestly it was one miss in the whole, well, two misses in the whole game. <laughs> but anyway, moving along, we'll get to the second gameplay. So as y'all can see, same lineups here. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the intro since you already get what we're working with here. Two-way slash play at the one, playmaking glass at the two, then you know the deal. Two-way sharp at the one, finisher at the two. So I'm gonna explain to you guys in this second gameplay too. So Cook's gonna come out the gate and just uh, pull off this and miss this shot, and then it goes out of bounds. But I want to explain the thought process behind our offense. The the dude of the two is still pretty big. Now sometimes we run flashy passer. Um, for Cook, even even though he's a two-way sharp, sometimes he still runs flashy passer just at the sake that, you know, if they ever have a really small guy at the two, I can just, you know, we can do the flashy passes to me. I can just dominate him in the paint and have no problem with that. Listen, and I got no problem doing so because if you come in here with some 6'6 player at the two in 2v2 in a make-it-take-it game where slashers and post scores rule and stuff like that, <laughs> I have no problem exposing like a weak matchup. Honestly, that's just how I see it. But anyway, right there, I wasn't really expecting to get the ball off that. I kind of just rolled for the sake of rolling, I guess, and just to keep him away from Cook as well. But anyway, you get the deal. Not the best, like, you know, mindful play right there, but still a good outcome. Now that right there is what I was talking about earlier. I need to get better with that inbound stuff because I've been running into people real bad off that fake pass. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just, you know, people having good defensive ratings and I just get bumped by them. But thankfully that was off of him. But you get what I'm saying. And I was over here doing emotes to <laughs> to stay back there just to be closer for the inbound. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird stuff that you can think about right there. But honestly, that turnover was probably on me as well. I rolled and I slipped when the big was still just camping Payton. That was a really bad roll. So again, that turnover was probably on me. Cook runs like straight into the defender. But honestly, I should have been able to hit him with the pick. And the reason I said that was on me, even though it wasn't my turnover, we approach every single pick and roll trying to force a switch. And honestly, I probably got a little too antsy of trying to get a slip myself because I thought the dude on the back was going to pick up fully. So if you're new to the whole pick and roll concept, if you aren't like, you know, sub to my channel, because obviously if you are sub to my channel, you, <laughs> you have a good understanding of pick and roll and how it works. So, you know, you have things like hedge where the dude on the backside is going to pick up temporarily and then only like you know, pick up as long as he thinks he can until he can recover to the paint, even though realistically it's very hard to hedge against my build because I have great finishing ability and great, you know, you know, just the capability of finishing lobs basically. But anyway, you get, you get the deal. Then there's also size defense where it's going to be way easier to get slips and against really slow defenders, the side defense is where I like to, where the breakdown was earlier in the video, where I like to curl them off really good for lob angles because it is sometimes hard to thread that needle. And speaking of which, that actually is another value of Needle Threader, even though Cook doesn't have it on this build. But you get the deal. Like, you know, obviously, like, situations like this, this is hedge defense right here. Cook probably could have hit me on the lob in that situation, but you see... And matter of fact, that's going to be a really good breakdown for you guys to understand. So just stay with me here. I know this is a little all over the place in the second gameplay, but just get this. So you're going to see what I'm talking about here. This dude is hedging, right? This is, this is hedge defense. He's picking up to try to scare Cook out of shooting the ball even though low-key like like i said i think a lob would have been a really good situation here you see he's spamming this lane but the fact of the matter is you can't do that against a lob you have to body me up you can't just spam the lane you don't intercept the ball unless you have like 90 freaking vertical with like six foot eight is and it's just impossible to do that but you see that you see what i'm talking about he's spamming that lane it puts him out of rebound position too but he really should have been trying to body me up to take it away but that's like the kind of thing with where he's trying to create the indecision of cook shooting the shot again he reaches in the lane instead of you know doing either body me up or you know taking the shot away from cook but that's what you have to do against pick and roll too it's tough i mean look at this and then you know he's still there and that's what i'm talking about that's where we finally get the lob that i was talking about <laughs> where you know you could you could throw it over his head pretty easily if he's just spamming the spamming the lane on x right there you can't stop alley oops like that by just spamming the lane. You're not, unless you have crazy good vertical and interceptor and stuff like that, and just good defensive ratings like steal and stuff, you're not gonna be able to just steal the lane like by playing right in between the two of them when the point guards are like the mid range. It just don't work like that. Now, you see Cooks out here working that triple threat <laughs> like a G. I mean, he got it, he got the shot on the first one and then he greens that one right there. Honestly, really underrated aspect to being a point guard especially when you're a two-way sharp like this where you're you're you know usually around 82 to 84 ball control you see this though oh my god i gotta i gotta run that back for y'all because i love seeing this stuff this is when me and cook are on the same page and we're really just getting things going look at this boom i don't even hit the dude with the pick 
I don't even hit him with the pick, but he's already looking to step up because I'm sure the point guard's like, yo, I'm getting killed with screens. I need help. And then you can't help. You literally just can't against my build. It's it's literally as simple as that. I get easy lobs if you if you like disengage and don't body me up. And what you see a lot of people do is either just campaign against me and I don't score points, but my point guard gets wide open shots all game. Or you'll see them, you know, do something like that and try to get away with it. But it just really don't work like that. Now, that right there, probably a little bit of a dangerous pass. Honestly, I probably would have just skipped that over to the corner, even if the dude was there just out of instincts. And it's, a, it's something I need to work on as well. I need to be more patient when I fail at doing a hop dunk and I realize I got to pass out. I'm sure a lot of y'all can relate to that too. Because you kind of just, just be like throwing it over to the corner ASAP because you're like <laughs> trying to, you know, like not look stupid and just sit there in the paint for like 10 seconds but y'all get what i'm saying anyway takeover is on this game is over at this point <laughs> but anyway before the video ends i want to talk to y'all a little bit about my content for the next couple of days um just some plans i have so i want i need to know if y'all really want to see like a how to get rep on a slasher video pretty soon like i'm talking within the next literally tomorrow's vid or the day after because i do have to cancel some plans if i do need to record for that and i really don't want to miss out on any puma so like obviously i'm going to be trying to play that as much as possible like i was telling y'all too i might be willing to stream some of that coming up as well but just let me know if you want to see a how to get rep video on a slasher and if you really want to see that let's get this to like a thousand likes within the first 24 hours um just just need to know your guys feedback if you really want to see that i can put it off to a little bit longer in puma if nobody really cares too much but again if, if y'all are really trying to see that just let just let me see it and and just show it <laughs> but anyway like i said that's about it for the game it's 4 to 20 at this point like i said this last takeover is very hard to overcome if you don't have a big build and honestly even if you do have a big build it's still hard to stop at that point the only thing i can really think of is that people would just help off my other teammate but cook is just so knocked down on catch and shoots that it's like you just can't <laughs> anyway you see speaking of knockdown he's two for five but <laughs> y'all get the deal seven assists beautiful game for him um and then obviously for me 18 points two rebounds nine for nine great game i i wish we could do more of these pick and roll videos and honestly i think we'll be able to bring a little bit more because me and cook be running this 2v2 stuff a little bit more uh in the in the near future but Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want to see more of these pick and roll videos too. If you make it to the very end of the vid, put pick or roll. I don't care which word, just pick one. Pick or roll. <laughs> or if you want to show like big time support, show, drop two different comments saying pick and then roll. <laughs> so anyway, if y'all made it to the end of the video, like I said, leave that. If y'all could drop a like, sub if you're new, turn on the noties, all that good stuff, I'd really appreciate it. And like I said, let's try to get this to a thousand likes if y'all really want to see a how to get rep video. So other than that, Hope you enjoyed and take it easy, man. Peace.